Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Free Desktop Recording Softwares. Today I am taking a look at FreeCam. As usual you can see the photo on the screen of all the features that I require from a free software. Let's get started. I am a little pumped up to be back for another episode of this series. Let's keep going. So as I've said checking out FreeCam on freescreenrecording.com. This is the website, so let's quickly check it out. First thing I'm seeing is on the right side, we have bolded pro version. So that means there is a pro version. We'll be checking out the differences between the free version and pro version, what's going on. Why is there a pro version? First thing, free tool for creating screencasts. Easy create screencasts, edit recorded videos and upload to YouTube, no watermark or time limit. Enter your email. From my experience of using internet for so long, every time a certain website wants you to type in your email, that's your address. And for some reason, they want your address. Why would they want your address? Clearly, to deliver something to you every now and then. They take your email and then they subscribe you to their news service or something like that and you get emails in your inbox every now and then, maybe every day, maybe every month, you never know. But simple question is why would they want your email address, emphasis on address? In this case, it's to download the software, but as I've told you guys, you make your own conclusions about this. Of course, I'll be typing a fake email to download the software and we'll have a look at what's gonna happen there. But let's keep going on. So we have record your screen. Of course, you can record a screen Recording area, voiceover, system sounds. Okay, so you can record a microphone and a system sound. I'll be checking out if there is record microphone or a voiceover into separate audio track. We'll be looking at that. There's highlight your mouse, fine tune your videos, aka edit your videos, polish audio, remove background noise, del delete unnecessary parts, share videos right away. So there is a button. We'll be checking that out. Get more with Pro Version. So Pro Version gives you record webcam and screen. At, I guess that feature you get both at the same time. Add annotations and hotkey hints and export to MP4. So we can't export to MP4, but we can export to YouTube straight away. And then we can download. Okay, we'll be taking a look at that. We can save the screencasts as WMV of a quality of 720p. And of course, at the bottom, there is download free cam and you can type in your email. What I am noticing, however, at the bottom, it says that this software exists from 2001 to 2020. So for 19 years, it's either the software or the company exists. Here's the thing, however, I never heard about this company or this particular software since maybe a few months ago. That's about it. I have been looking for free desktop recording programs for a long time, ever since 2010 or something like that, when I started making videos. Never heard about it. So I've been following up and this raised some alarms. So I copied the URL of this website and I pasted it into this particular website that tells you how old is the actual website that you are interested in. So here's the, the domain name of the said website and you can see that this particular domain name is one year and five months old. Again, this raises questions to their claim that they are from 2001, which means basically we're here for a very long time, we persevered and we are trustworthy. We have experience. Those are the things that I get from these sorts of things. There's also one thing which is Wayback Machine. I'm gonna click Browse History and let's see what kind of stuff do we have there. As you can see, again, from 2019, and here we have June, actually February 7th, so I'm gonna click there. I am actually interested to see how the website looked like, so let's just do that. I don't normally do this, but since there's a claim down there and it's raising some alarms, I want to check it out. So this is how it looked like. And yeah, there was no pro version at the moment. Anyhow, those are just some things I wanted to take a look at. Let's compare features of a pro and free version. We have features button here. Oh, never mind. Let's click pro version, see what happens here. So this is great. This is I love when websites do this or companies in general. When they simply give you like chart like this and they compare the softwares, what's the difference? So let's have a look at this. Immediately I am noticing something on this website. So first things first. Over here, it says that we can record a quality of 720p, but right here we have free cam recording quality 760p. Either that's a typo that's been up there for 19 years or... Anyhow, let's see what we have. All of these are checked. Let's see what we don't have. So video format WMV pro version is MP4. Recording quality... I mean, it shouldn't be quality. It should be the frame size. The quality is something else. There's a difference between the size and the girth. Okay, I won't make jokes like that. 
I'll understand if you unsubscribe at this point. Anyhow, the Pro version gives you only 1080p, which nowadays is pretty seems pretty outdated, but for us, it's still enough for a free program. Again, the, but this is Pro version we're mentioning here. Anyhow, let's keep moving on. Multi-track timeline, this is uh, editing software stuff. Record a separate voiceover webcam, record screen and webcam at the same time, annotations, add video from computer, insert music. So this is basically editing software stuff. Holy mother of Jesus, $227 per year so upon filling up my email it takes me to thanks for download i wonder what's gonna happen if i open a new page Just simply open that up yeah it still takes me to thanks for downloading so if you guys want to download this software without putting your email in simply skip to this particular link let's take a look at the recording process once you open up the program you can click new recording select the frame size for example i'll go with the 720p right here widescreen and then all you got to do is click record there is a countdown and that's about it the recording starts when you are done you can either click the done or press escape button on your keyboard the recording stops now you are put into real final screen to say so you have a couple of options record a new recording edit the particular recording that you have or save it as a video and even upload to YouTube. So if I click save it as a video, I can give it the name and save it. Now let's have a look at the features. The program has three different windows, the start, the recorder and the finish. So this is the start window. It has a couple of buttons. Like for example, you have new recording, open project, all these buttons, but these buttons are also visible up here and also right here as well. If I click new recording, the recorder opens. We have record button. There is a microphone button or the mute. You can also mute the microphone. You have the frame size, which you can choose here. You can also select the application, the area or the full screen. We have the settings button, which opens up the settings with a couple of options like shortcuts, audio recording, and also advanced with five extra options. One interesting thing is mouse indication. Also, once the recording starts, you have a pause button and also you have this button which deletes the current recording and starts it over. And also there is a done button. And this is a final screen to say so. Again, you have three places with pretty similar buttons. New recording, open up little editor, save a video or upload it to YouTube. I'm going to open up the editor really quick to show you what the editor has. So a couple of buttons up here, we have delete. For example, if I select a particular portion, I can delete it, I can silence it or trim it. Then we can also remove the noise, adjust the volume, fade in, fade out, zoom selection and show the entire recording button. Then there is also zooming down here and we have play and stop. That's about it. If you watched my series and the previous episodes, you noticed that the segments that take me the most are the segments where I showcase the program's features. In this particular program, there's really not much to show. I think even the developers noticed that the program seems a little empty. Like there are buttons that repeat. You have these buttons up here, then the same buttons show here and also right here. And when it comes to my impressions a little bit more, I think the program is fairly simple and fairly easy to use. It has very, very basic features that probably can get you by if you play it right. The program does, however, record a video at a 24 frames per second. You see that the frame rate is actually 24 frames per second. For a desktop recording, if you're just going to record a desktop tutorials, it's just fine. Even that frame rate will get you by. So the next question that comes to mind is does it have luxury features and what are they? In my opinion, I think there are about two or three. So first we have options, open new windows inside recording area. So this is my current recording area. And if I was to record and I opened up a new window, it would pop in. Then we also have mouse indication. One nice feature also with the editor itself is remove noise. The way it works is you first sample the noise and then you can remove all the noise. Very, very useful thingy to have a clear recording. Taking a look at this video sample inside the video editor, we can see there is only one audio track and one video track. And I just want to see how that looks like. I hope you don't mind that I have a different wallpaper in the background. After checking the recording itself, for me personally, what I'm noticing that the mouse cursor clicks themselves do feel a little sluggish looking at it on the video. That could possibly be due to 24 frames per second recording. Other than that, I don't notice anything 
unusual. The recorder, in fact, does record 1080p just fine, even though the website says there is a 720p limitation. So the bad things I ran into are, I think the developers clearly noticed that the program looks fairly empty. That's why they included these buttons on multiple places. Same buttons, same places. Look at this, open project. Here they call it browse, which clearly shows, yeah, we are aware of it. Look at this, browse. Here's the same button and then the same button. For some reason, the program is split into the parts or segments, the starting area, the recorder, and then the finishing touches, edits, whatnot. Again, it feels like they are trying to make it se seem like there's more to this program when there really isn't. It's very bland and very simple. On their website, they clearly state that you do have a limitation of 720p and they, it sort of shows here, but however, if you go to full screen, you can easily select 1080p area, for example. Going into the settings, there is nothing that lets you configure the quality of the video recording itself or change the frame rate or anything like that. I don't think I was even able to see the actual frame rate capabilities of the program on the website itself, let alone see them in this program. If there is an audio recording section and you have clearly noticed that you can record microphone and also the system sounds, why not include record microphone into a separate audio track? There is a button setup microphone, which I don't really know what it does. It makes you read a particular line and that's about it. Somehow the microphone is magically set up now. I'm not even sure if this setup is from the Windows itself because once I do click it, there's nothing down here that opens up, no new tabs or anything. As you can see, if I do open up a microphone setup wizard from the Windows itself, it does clearly show down here there is a new button. See that? That's there, right there, on the taskbar itself. Once you click delete and start over the recording and you confirm, it doesn't actually start the recording over. You have to click the record once again. Once you are inside the editor and you do make some changes, there is no undo button. You, oh, you actually have to include it into quick access toolbar by customizing it, but natively there's no undo button here. This is the preview window once you finish the recording. If you actually press the X, you would expect for the preview window to close and take you back either to a home page or maybe even a recorder. But if you do click it, it closes the program fully. Good things I ran into is actually with the editor itself. There is a remove noise button which helps a lot. This is something that you would usually have to do with a program called Audacity. You take your audio recording into the Audacity, you clean it from any noise, and then you put it back into your video. But to have this immediately built in here, and it's actually the same function, this is how it works for Audacity as well. Noise sample and then remove the actual noise. And overall, the simplicity of the program, as much as it is really empty and bland, and that can be a really a bad side, really bad side, still, for somebody who does not know how to use these, that you could easily have this for your parents or for somebody like that, who is not really tech savvy. Very simple. Look, just click the new recording, click the red button, and that's about it. The program actually has a countdown that lets you prepare. This is a really nice feature. You can also mute your microphone on the spot, just like that. You click there and you mute it. So guys, here I am. Hold on. So here I am in the 30 second recording process. I'm just actually going to click a couple of times so we can see how that looks like. I'm recording a 30 second sample video and I just want to see how that looks like. I hope you don't mind that I have a different wallpaper in the background as opposed to the other one. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. You know, just a little bit, you know, stuff. But yeah, that's about it. So this is a final summary and the review segment. For a beginner, I think this program would work just fine. Once you do, however, get into the making videos on YouTube and doing a couple of extra things, you really start to see how many features you are missing. That little lag with the mouse can really start to affect your recordings. However, can you get by with this? Of course you can. But let's say you were recording yourself where you make music or where you make videos. Anything really where you have to work with the audio on your computer, this is where missing that extra feature called record microphone into separate audio track would really start to affect you. You would have to foresee how much you need to turn down the volume on your computer from the computer sounds 
to compensate for not having that little option there that would make your life so much easier. And then immediately once that starts happening, you start looking for other programs which do have that feature, which just again, make your life easier. That's really what happened to me. When I started, I was using Cam Studio, very, very simple program, not a lot of features. I was able to get by, but once you, you know, really start to get into it, really, I don't have much to say about the actual program other than that it's really very simple for beginners, definitely sure. If you need to get the quick recording started and going just to record something very quickly and with not a lot of requirements from your side, I think this would be just fine for you. And even it works for 1080p. I would like to say, a couple of extra things about the company themselves but I think I've done that for the most part in the beginning of the video also I would like to encourage you guys to check out the spreadsheet that I have going on there is a link in the description and the comments below which you can click and actually see a little more more extra things that I wanted to include and also you can see the rating that I give to this particular program. Of course, you guys are free to comment on this particular program in the comment section below and share what you think of it. Really, really not much to say about it. This has been my review. Thank you so much for tuning into it. Again, do check out the spreadsheet for more additional information. Links are in the comments and in the description below the video. I do want to give a little announcement that slowly I will be starting to look into free game recording softwares. That's a separate series on its own. That's really a big part of this review segment that I have going on on my uh, channel. After free softwares are finished, I will start to dig into paid softwares as well and I'll make a couple of top lists about these things. So do check out those on my channel as they come and go. So that's about it from me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you in future videos. Stay awesome and oh, super scrap, definitely. And that's it. I'm out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back